Ted Kaczynski, also known as the Unabomber, passed away at the age of 81 in his prison cell in North Carolina on Saturday, as confirmed by the Federal Bureau of Prisons. Kaczynski had been serving a life sentence without the possibility of parole for a series of bombings that took place across the United States, resulting in the deaths of three individuals. In 2021, he was transferred from a maximum security prison in Colorado to North Carolina due to his deteriorating health. Kaczynski's imprisonment stemmed from his arrest in 1996 at a primitive cabin in western Montana, where he resided. The cause of his death has not been disclosed. He pleaded guilty to orchestrating 16 explosions between 1978 and 1995, which claimed the lives of three people and injured 23 others throughout the country. The homemade bombs Kaczynski sent through the mail, including one triggered by altitude that detonated on an American Airlines flight, had a profound impact on how Americans perceive package delivery and air travel. In 1995, Kaczynski's threat to blow up a plane departing from Los Angeles during the July 4th weekend plunged air travel and meal services into chaos. He later dismissed it as a prank. As a Harvard-trained mathematician, Kaczynski vehemently criticized the consequences of advanced technology and became the target of the nation's longest and most expensive manhunt. The FBI referred to him as a Unabomber due to his initial focus on universities and airlines. In September 1995, The Washington Post and The New York Times published his anti-technology manifesto, Industrial Society and Its Future, at the behest of federal authorities. Kaczynski had promised to cease his terrorist activities if a national publication circulated his treatise. His brother David and sister-in-law Linda Patrick recognized his writing and subsequently alerted the FBI, leading to his capture. In April 1996, authorities discovered Kaczynski residing in a 10 by 14 foot cabin made of plywood and tar paper outside Lincoln, Montana. He had been living there since the 1970s and the cabin contained journals, a coded diary, explosive components, and two completed bombs. Kaczynski strongly rejected the notion of being labeled mentally ill and attempted to dismiss his attorneys during the trial when they proposed an insanity defense. Ultimately, he opted to plead guilty rather than allowing his attorneys to proceed with that strategy. And his personal journals, which were released by the government during the trial at the request of the victims' families. Kaczynski described his motivation as simply personal revenge. I often had fantasies of killing the kind of people I hated, i.e. Government officials, police, computer scientists, the rowdy type of college students who left their beer cans in the arboretum etc., 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 he wrote. Kaczynski's victims included Hugh Scruton, the owner of a computer rental store, Thomas Mosser, an advertising executive, and Gilbert Murray, a lobbyist in the timber industry. Additionally, California geneticist Charles Epstein and Yale University computer expert David Galander were severely injured in bombings that occurred two days apart in June 1993.